Okay, awesome. It's recording. And I've got to do this in just a second. Okay. Yeah, I like this. I think this is going to work beautifully. Welcome to <laughs> Angelic Spirit Medium 33. This is Yvonne. <laughs> but you can see, yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm just setting this up a different way. I finally have <laughs> kind of a crazy way to set it up, but it's good for now. So let's see. I've already rung the bells. I've already asked the angels to come in. We can ring these again. I'm just gonna stop right there. <laughs> okay, got some Cheerios in my cute little teacup. These are my great great grandmother's, right? I always, yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> great, great, either great grandmother or great great grandmother. I think it was great great grandmother. Is that a year? No. Okay. So, I don't know. I was guided to do a reading. So, Spirit, please guide me. <laughs> what are you wanting me to do today? Let me channel this information clearly, concisely, in a universal language that all who visit this channel will clearly understand and be able to receive a message from their spirit guides, from the angels and the universe. The Ascended Masters are welcome here. They want me to sh Do you want me to shuffle a few of these decks real quick? So let's see. That's one. This is two. Both of these are Doreen Virtue Chris. Well, okay, one is Doreen Virtue Angel Therapy Oracle Cards, and the other one is Doreen Virtue Crystal Angels. And by Mary also by Marius Michael George. I'll just shuffle a few times here. I already shuffled these mostly before, but I'm gonna do it again. Some more, some more, some more. This deck is the Dragon Oracle Cards by Diana Cooper. My Shungai uh, pyramid. I don't know where that is, but yeah, so I'm getting like I don't know, the energies are kind of heavy and it's kind of gloomy here. It's kind of like a weird day. And 
Oh, there's a bear on that shield. Or some kind of... Oh, no, wait. Maybe it's a lion. I don't know. It's like some crazy beast. But we're already getting, um... Shield yourself. And there's like some crazy, like beast looking thing here and it says protect yourself from harsh or fear-based energies by envisioning a cocoon of healing light surrounding you but i was also getting emf like heavy emf fields coming through i'm getting like traveling like you might not be in your normal spot or something like so the energies are really hitting you. You're like definitely needing to shield yourself energetically. Ask the angels to come in and protect you. This is so cool in the back too. Energy healing. Okay. This is also saying you're a light worker who has come to earth to teach about love. And so you're probably extra sensitive to energies here on earth oh i'm getting crystals okay crystals can help you protect too the energy of crystals supports you and helps with your present situation i'm getting amethyst because of all this purple oh oh my god twin flame was under that oh my gosh oh my gosh Okay, I'm not going to go any farther than that, because, like, I did I usually only pick the ones that fall. But I just felt, like, really drawn to these. But maybe, um, some of you are in Twin Flames. I know that... I don't know, I've even been... Like, the terms Twin Flames, Soulmate, and all that, it, it has gotten, like, really confusing. So... I wonder if I could, like, sit this on the teacup. Oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> so, I don't know, this card is, like, really pulling to me, though, um, and I'm getting, like, maybe you'll be doing spiritual or healing work with your partner, and I'm feeling like the terminology is getting in the way a little bit, because... Really, we want, like, our divine partnership is what I'm getting from this. Like, someone who's... Someone who's going to be real. Like, someone who's going to legitimately build a life together. And maybe doing healing work is going to put you on the correct path um and definitely crystals is coming up like something with crystals and you needing to shield yourself because oh, okay i'm understanding like because you um are in this intense relationship the energies can get heavy and also like other energies can be trying to come in and like mess with you <laughs> So, like, because you're in such a, like, intense and, like, what's, like, um, the word I'm looking for, spirit, like, like, prominent, like, like, important and, like, in the spiritual world, like, this type of relationship is, like, extremely powerful, like, our energies are powerful and the angels are wanting you to understand that and to protect yourself because of this. So energy work and crystals can really help. And I'm getting just like that at a basic level. So um, maybe these other cards, because these are crystal cards um, from the angels, these are going to give us some more answers. Okay. Okay. And this is this card that came up is Kainai and it's saying make time for self-care. 
And that almost looks like lapis lazuli, which keeps coming up in... Here we are. Um, as well, so... Like, in a bunch of readings I've watched in the last few days, it's like lapis lazuli, lapis lazuli, and then I was watching a YouTube video, and I don't even know how I got into it, because I've never even seen anything like that, but it's like a crystal... Like, a, a song, the songs of the crystals, like, that's not what it's called, but <clears throat> it was a lapis lazuli, like, meditation song, and it's supposedly, like, playing its frequency. So, yeah, maybe, like, YouTube videos could really help if you can't get access to, like, actual crystals right then and there. Um, just look some up on YouTube. I'll, I'll have to write down the name of that YouTube channel and share it. A different time. Maybe uh, it might be in the description box. Okay, so now I'm gonna like actually do a shuffle. Like that one, when I mean to just pick like from the top there. And also, okay, Power Animal came out, but. I'm just getting with that, um, it's a white horse, but I'm, I'm getting, like, healing, like, energy healing maybe with horses, like, equine therapy might be good, <clears throat> or you might be involved in that, an equine therapist. And that really is mediumship, when you're also able to, like, talk with the animals, so that's awesome. Here we go. Woo! Gold. Divine Intervention. God sends miracles to answer sincere prayers. I love this card. This card's intense. So this is his gold right here. Look at all that. I'm getting like really calming energies coming through. Like, I don't know, I'm getting like, they're saying like, look at these cards because it's like gonna give you downloads really quick. <laughs> um, yeah, and it is like third eye is really lit up. Actually, it almost looks like in between the third eye and the crown. That's interesting. So maybe there's like the third eye and the crown are connecting through this alchemization of energy. Yeah, I'm getting energy healing again really strongly, like look more into different types of energy healing. And I'm getting, like, <laughs> I'm just getting that, like, this guy's beard is really long and it's really beautiful and curly. And that probably takes a lot of care. So that's coming in with self-care again, like, just take care of yourself. And um, it's going to reflect. Like, people are going to notice you for, like, well, they're going to be like, dang, they're on point, you know? Cleaned up, clean shaven, or cleanly oiled. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and something, I'm getting like something with the eyes. Something with the eyes and the... No, it's like allergies, like maybe you have allergies, and um, doTERRA, they have allergy pills, like in little capsules, and what I do is I pop one of those open, and it has lemon, lavender, and peppermint in it, and then I rub it on, like, here, <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like behind, like, behind my ear and then down below it kind of like where the um thyroid is is that the right word i want to use i think so um and then like anywhere on the neck um the throat area and like the stomach and the bottoms of the feet um it'll really it helps with seasonal allergies um and i've actually found pretty good success with that 
It doesn't have to be doTERRA, but that's what I use. And I recommend really researching your oils if they're not doTERRA or Young Living because I know a lot of them are not authentic and they're a lot stronger than they should be and you can't ingest them, so just be careful. That's all I'm going to say. Oh. Oh. Okay. This really is about twin flame. And loving yourself. Oh. Loving yourself is gonna really bring in this relationship that is what it's all about and i've had to learn the hard way and i still learn every freaking day the hard way sometimes also the easy way it's becoming a lot easier the more i call on the angels and the more i like accept god's pure white light and love and divine intervention and energy and archangels into my life like it really you know <laughs> i get upset and like every day but then I'm always like brought back in by them or the spirits and <sighs> we're gonna make it through this I've been hearing about union for like a couple years now and it's always like oh it's coming it's coming it's coming it's coming but I think the energies really are getting stronger like when I first was not even doing any readings and just watching them, it wasn't, like, the energy wasn't as immediate. But now it seems like the cards are just coming out in every reading. Like, like so many people are coming together in, like, serious, true, divinely guided relationships. And not just, like, I'm pretty sure what most people refer to as karmic. Like, it's not just, like... A one night stand or whatever. I mean, they, it is important. It could be changing your whole life just in one night. So I'm not like trying to like discount like those experiences, but it's going to be in the form of like a marriage now. It's not just messing around like sexually, emotionally, physically, whatever, playing around. Like this is like real shiznes. Like, this is real stuff coming, like, I'm kind of scared, like, I think, like, it's just a passing feeling, but it is, like, the energies are just so intense, you know, like, I've never felt something like this, like, I've never thought I would even get married, like, when I was little, I'd be like, ew, like, no, I hate, like, I would never get married, I don't want kids, like, none of that, I mean, I was real young, like, like, before elementary, I mean, not before elementary, well, yeah, before elementary, but, like, more in, like, middle school, like, when people were really, like, asking you, like, about relationships and stuff, like, I was just like, no way, like, I'm not getting married, like, I just couldn't even imagine it, and then I've just gone through, like, so much pain, and I lost everyone, like, all my friends, like, so many different times, and just the universe has, like, put me on a million billion different paths that I didn't want to go on, <laughs> and some of them I'm not maybe weren't in the best and wasn't really guided by the divine of the highest divine white light, you know, and I learned a bunch of lessons, but other paths, like, it has been the divine, and it's just, like, dang, like, I'm tired, and I'm, like, not down for the games, like, I don't want to just have one night stands, I don't want to just have sex and then, like, go eat and then go home, like, I want the home to be the sacred space for making divine love, like, like, 
I think it's kind of like more like Tantra, but I don't know. I haven't really got into a lot of Tantra. I don't like using a lot of necessarily definitive words. Like it can be misconstrued, I think, the message. So I'm talking about like, but also I don't know a lot about Tantra. So I just, I know a little bit and it's to, in my eyes and in how I feel like this relationship is going to be in marriage it's just like completely like in love for like the rest of my life like the rest of our lives like whoever my di divine partner is like I just hope and I hope that it's like easy like I don't want it to be like hard and have all these like like so many marriages fail and I want to have, like, a light there, like, always, you know, like, like, I just, I always want to be guided in a higher path, and I hope that that means, like, that someone will be there for, like, the rest of my life, or until the day I die, like, and, like, really, truly have, like, a true love where there's no games there's no like of course there's gonna be some maybe like bickering <laughs> or whatever you want like like we have our ways you know like people are people and lessons are still gonna be like lessons in the relationship but like no physical abuse no emotionally psychological like really crazy shit you know like <laughs> like yeah it's just i want something real and i feel like that's a lot of what the collective wants like we're tired and we really are like i feel like and i'm getting the message like we're angels like we have different sets of different life forms in our dna here on earth like oh what is that oh what is that girl's name she's she's from sedona arizona and i used to watch so many of her videos i haven't watched her in a long time but i just thought of her she's somebody's somebody's channeling me <laughs> channeling to meet her um but like she is also she like goes way in depth about it about like extraterrestrials so we call them uh, like it's not in a bad way maybe i mean of course there are some that probably are but a lot of them like will <laughs> come and take us at night i mean that's why so many people have like real dreams or it's like it feels completely like vivid like you're there and i i've had one but i actually no that's a lie i've had a few <laughs> dreams um i wish i didn't remember them sometimes but like the biggest one for me is because it was like i was under a bunch of lights like in a surgery room and all these people like different beings were like looking over me and like operating on me and I didn't like feel pain it was like they had given me anesthesia anesthesia and I was like partially kind of awake but I was just like seeing these lights and these faces and then yeah that was like one of the biggest ones I've actually had a bunch of dreams to be honest they're all like popping into my head but something just like fell or slammed or somebody dropped something outside um so well yeah that went like way out there but this one woman like <clears throat> is talking about how like they're like harvesting us like such a strong word but like they're like like basically they are though like they're like taking <clears throat> different sets of DNA from different life forms and combining them <clears throat> into 
<clears throat> I'm getting like a throat activation. <clears throat> <clears throat> Whoa. <clears throat> it's really like <clears throat> strong. So I don't want to say too much about this. I don't know why. I just got a really weird vibe, but it's not meant to like put fear into people it's meant to open up people's minds spiritually so and like f <laughs> physically and like i don't know a better word like what is a better word like to see it in like a positive light because i don't i don't feel like i'm explaining it very well and this other lady really does, so I'll try to put it in the, her name in the description box as well. And, um, because it's like we're all, we all have like a little bit of DNA from different beings. <laughs> like, I know I'm Arcturian, and I'm like 99% positive I probably do have Arcturian DNA because... I really don't want to go into all this spirit. Oh my gosh, you're making me like crazy. Because <laughs> I've already shared this, I'm pretty sure, on a different video. But maybe it's because I recorded a bunch of videos and they're on a video camera. But I won't be able to get those videos up very soon. Because, anyways, problems with the internet. Um... Yeah, they're saying they, they really don't want me to go into detail, but to just mention that I'm Chimera, so that means I have two sets of DNA, and so it's just really, yeah, I find it extremely interesting because of that fact, and that's really, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that right now. Okay, so this other card that came out, oh, I don't think, yeah, I didn't talk about these, but Clearing negativity, yeah, really, like, spiritual, um, shielding yourself spiritually, physically, like, with, um, okay, they want me to share, like, with, um, a pendant, this is a yellow dragon spirit, and, like, I thought this stuff was a joke, y'all, like, I'm not kidding, like, I bought a bunch of, I've, I've bought, like, these are spirit dolls, which I love them so much, like, they're my friends, you know, and if you just come on my channel and disrespect them, like, you'll be blocked, like, I'm so real, because these are spirits that have passed, like, they were real people, and they deserve respect, like, I don't even want to go in that area right now, because I say it strongly because of what I've, um, seen online, and... Some people are extremely rude and they think that the dolls are like something to play with and something to challenge and um, something to like, like slavery is what's coming up. And because it really is real, like this, this person legitimately told me like they make their spirits like clean their basement and do the chores and like clean litter box. And I, I like, I cried, dude. I was just like. I could not believe that, like, they were so nonchalant, and they publicly, like, shared that, like, a whole rant, and I was just like, wow, like, get off my channel if you're somebody like that, like, I will not allow that energy in my channel, like, block, instant, so that just had to be said, because I'm for real, like, anybody that watches my channels, then I, I expect you to respect me and all the spirits, and I give you respect as well. Like, that's how it works. That's the law of the universe. So, anyways, I'm, like, really passionate <laughs> about talking to the spirits. I'm a medium, and I don't really care if anybody believes that it's real or not. I've had so many experiences, and my dad has passed away, and... 
I'm I'm real about this. Like if if you don't want to believe, fine, but I'm real. I connect with spirits and I talk to them and give people messages. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, like let me know and we can do a session and I'm about to put the different sessions on my Instagram and my Facebook. I have some up there now if you're interested. It is the going to be the, by the Angel Decks and their intuitive angelic sessions. So we can connect with loved ones who have passed or just receive messages from the angels or set a goal of some sort um, to like receive messages through the cards for. So maybe someone really needed to hear that about like receiving messages and don't, you know, like it's not coming from a fear, place of fear. It's coming from a place of love. So I'm going to go back to this gem. I wish it would focus on it. I think it's focused now, finally. <laughs> like me. Sometimes I go on, like, tangents, you know? But then we come back into focus at some point. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a yellow dragon pendant. And, like, I didn't really, like, believe in this stuff, like, fairies and dragons and all this stuff like being real but what I found is like it's the spirit it's like the essence of it is real 